This was actually supposed to be a birthday vlog. I actually lost all of my footage. I lost all of my photos. I lost everything for the last two days we were in Miami. Oh, of course, I lost both of my phones. <laughs> He wanna find me outside Tahiti. He know how I like it. He do whatever the wife fit. He go with the hands. Hey, family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Ashley. This is my lifestyle. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. As you guys can see this morning, um, I'm actually doing a wake and bake story time for you guys. I actually have been waiting forever to give y'all this story time, okay? We've really been waiting forever to give y'all this story time. It's actually really, really, really early in the morning. So we're gonna be waking and baking. So if you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to get all the notifications on when a doll uploads and that's all period. Before I get started and jump into the video, um, I just want to let everybody know that it is new here. It took 12 years for me to actually do this story time. I've never did a story time, so this is my first story time. I break down this story for y'all on what the hell happened in Miami last year. Okay, y'all? Oh, let me also say Happy New Year's to everybody. I love y'all so, so, so much. And I didn't get to say that on my last video, my first video of the year. So, Happy New Year's, everybody. And continue to support my channel. And I love you guys so much. Please interact with me on my community tabs post on my channel because I post everything on there. I post all of my new uploads up there letting you guys know that I do have new videos out. I post pictures, I post polls so I can actually get feedback from you guys on what kind of videos you do want to see more of me from. <laughs> so did I say that right? Please stay tuned um, to those posts and please look out for those posts so that you guys can interact with me. I really, really want to interact with you guys and I really want to get to know you guys a little bit more because you guys know a little bit about me. So I want to get to know y'all a little bit more and I want to know what y'all would like to see from me more of, okay? So yeah, let's go on and start the process. I had the lighting my screen up but y'all you are not a true roller we're on my phone you are not a true roller if you don't have a roller tray and that's all period that's all period poo okay I also wanted to say before I actually started this story time um, that yeah I lost both my phones y'all while I was in Miami and um, I lost all of my videos I lost all of my footage it was just horrible I was just so upset I still have a few things though. I still have a few things that I probably will insert into this video and whatnot. But your girl was upset, okay? I was upset. I was on a thousand. I was on 10,000. I'm leaving because I'm going to kill somebody in this mother. I'll never make it back home, son.
I always gotta have my lip gloss on deck. You know what I'm saying? Shop your girl lip gloss, dollhouse.com, period, boo. Because it's cold outside, and who gonna have dry lips? Not you, sis. Not you. Not my sis. Not my doll. Shop doll, trap house, y'all, period. We got the best moisturizing lip gloss ever. It's not sticky at all. Not sticky at all. It goes on silky smooth. And it is equipped with three different oils, boo boo. Who you know? And it's scented. Period. All of my lip glosses are scented and they are vegan based. So shop your girl's website, period, point blank, poo. And we got fast shipping. Cause who? Cause you need that lip gloss all the time, honey. Lashes and lip gloss. We sell accessories too, so go on and shop. The website is in the link in the description below. I'm trying to hook y'all up. Okay, so support. All right, y'all. So before I get started, I do want to let you guys know that um, I do want to let y'all know that Miami was lit as fuck. Okay, it was so lit. Like we had a great time. We had a ball, y'all. Me and my husband can't wait to do it again. We over here sitting here talking about it now. Um, on when we gonna go with this year. See now, last year we were actually supposed to go. Let me go on and like this day though. Um, last year we were supposed to have went for our birthday. Cause our birthdays are in July. His is in the beginning, mine is in the end. So we try to celebrate our birthday together. And last year was um a big number for us so we went on and um tried to plan it for our birthday but of course corona fucked that up because that was when shit shut back down and that was like the end of the summertime i say shit shut back down in miami so we was like okay cool you know we're just gonna go on and book it for another day another time so we thought that it would have been a good idea. <coughs> we thought that it would have been a good idea for us to go when my godbrother was going, my cousin, and his um and his wife. So we decided to go when they went in October because me and my husband, me and my husband and them, we've been trying to get together forever. So we was like, okay, couple trip, couple trip. And every time we actually tried to plan something, it was either we were doing something or they had to work or we had stuff going on and they have kids too. So we have four kids, they have three kids. So y'all know that it'd be busy with us and our lives are really, really busy based on um, our children, you know? So we have busy lives, so we're parents. So, you know, the time comes um, for us to go in October. So boom, we book our we booked our trip. We paid for everything. I think we paid for everything in August. We paid for everything in August, I think. I want to say August, y'all. I can't really remember. Okay, I got to stop smoking this weed. Yeah. I think we booked in August, if I'm correct. I think we booked in August and, um, you know, we paid for everything. When it, when it was time for us to really go, so we paid for everything, like our little amenities and things like that. For the jet skis, um, and we tried to do a yacht, a yacht boat. We were unable to do that because the guy that was supposed to, um, the guy that was supposed to be doing our yacht tour or whatever was unavailable um, the days that we were there, but he was available the day that we were gonna leave. So we were like, mm, should we do our yacht tour then? And no, we didn't. Cause we was like, why even do it then? You know what I'm saying? We want to do it while we were there, not right before we leave. So we decided we weren't going to do that. So we actually did something else. Um, um, we didn't do the jet skis. So we did the jet skis. We didn't have really, um, really many amenities to choose from because a lot of stuff was still shut down. So we were just going to chill, to vibe out and just to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? So we um we get there. Just say like, all right. So I'm gonna start off for when we got there, okay? Now when we got there, 
that first night when we got there, it was like, I want to say it was like 8 o'clock when we touched down. Florida is, not Florida, Miami is nine hours away from us. So we actually drove. We drove, <coughs> and y'all, I'm going to be inserting little clips and little photos and things like that of what I do still have left over in my phone. So I was able to record some snaps. And I will include those in this video as well. Um, like I said, it was all good vibes, y'all. Like, I'm so ready to go back, y'all. But y'all, um, so before we got there, before we got there, we had gotten drinks, we got our bottles, we got our cigars, of course. We got our smoke. We just had everything already before we even got there. So we wouldn't have had to do all that once we got there. Because ain't nobody about to be looking for nothing when we got there. Okay? Anybody about to be looking for nothing. So we got everything that we had. We had our whole lit pack. We even had um, the THC pins. So we had those. We had the cartridges. We had everything, y'all. We had, we had the beans. We had everything, y'all everything we had it it was a lituation you feel me before we even get there let me tell y'all something <laughs> before we even get there and i don't know if y'all know but i'm actually terrified i'm so terrified of fucking spiders i am so terrified of spiders y'all so even a little spider i'll probably try to kill myself if i see it on me no lie so we driving and i think before we even get to georgia I think it was right before we got to Georgia or as soon as we got into Georgia. It was this big, I'm driving, okay? My husband is in the passenger seat, all right? And my cousin and his wife are behind us. They're in a different car, so we drove separate cars. So, we are driving on I-95 and all of a sudden, I see this big ass spider. This big ass spider, that bitch was probably bigger than that. It was really big. And it just came crawling down from out the roof of our ceiling inside the car onto the windshield in front of me, y'all. I panicked like a I panicked, y'all. He's on your back! He's on your back! <laughs> I was shaking. I started sweating. I started getting hot. And y'all, it wasn't even really hot outside. It's October. It really wasn't that hot, but you know how you panic and you just start getting really, really hot. I started getting really hot. I started shaking. I put that motherfucking Jeep over so quick. You hear me? I put that Jeep over so quick, y'all. I was just so terrified. My husband was like, no, calm down, calm. What the, what you mean calm down? You know I'm scared of spiders. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> so I pulled over on the side of the road. <laughs> and I know my cousin was like, what the hell is going on? I didn't give up, okay? I didn't care. I just wanted to get out that car and I wanted that spider gone. I was even scared to even drive anymore. Like after that, I was just so scared. So my cousin get out his car, they pulled over behind us. They get out his big car, trying to figure out what's going on. My cousin get out, get in our car and start hitting the ceiling of where, you know, the spider went back. Cause the spider went back up. The spider went back up into the, uh, the panel. So I was like, hell no. If I can't see that spider, I'm not driving no more. So it took me a little while to calm down, but we got back on the road, you know. And I wish I could have recorded that, <laughs> but I was so scared, y'all. I was scared. All right, so long story short. Okay, now we in Miami, okay? Nothing happened between Georgia and Miami. Nothing really happened, all right? So we get to Florida, get to Miami, boom, touchdown by 8 o'clock, driving through. Because you know we got a lot of hoods in Miami, you know? So, driving through, we like, damn, this is a hood, damn. We booked our Airbnb. <laughs> I forgot to include that. We booked our Airbnb. So, we like, damn, hopefully everything good. Because, y'all, it was a lit-ass spot. A lit-ass spot. I will include <coughs> those snaps. And if you guys haven't followed me on Snapchat yet, then, boo, what are you doing? My Snapchat is lit. Um, And... So we get there, going past, it's dark, you know, so we riding past the hood, the neighborhoods and stuff like that. So we sitting here like, damn, I hope we ain't get scammed, you know? 
we was hoping we didn't get scammed, so we sitting here like, damn, this shit look like the hood. So we pulling through, pulling through, keep going, keep going, and then we turn down this one street. We like, okay, this ain't that bad, but it still look like the hood, you know? So we get out, you know, we at the, we at the spot. We get out, you know what I'm saying? And um, we go in. Cause we like, damn, this shit look kind of lit. We go over here, we see all these lights and all these colorful lights, fancy lights, palm trees, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So we like, okay, let's go on in. So we went in, opened that gate. A bitch was in heaven, y'all. A bitch was in heaven. It was so pretty, y'all. Like, it was so, so pretty. I wish, I wish, I wish I would have had that footage for y'all. Because I feel like y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve that lit vlog, period. Because we was lit as, as half. Listen, we were so lit one night. And I'm going to get to that night. I can't even remember half of everything. Like, it was just that lit. Like, we was gone. I was so gone. Husband was gone. Everybody was gone. Cousin, wifey was gone. Everybody was gone. Okay? So, we get there. And we opened up the gate, boom, bam. It was so pretty, y'all. They had everything set up for us. They had, um, and, and we were in our own spot. So that big ass spot that we had was all ours to ourselves, all right? It was a big villa. And um, it was a big ass pool. It had two grills. It was just a whole vibe. Um, I will show, I think I have, I think I have that footage. If I have that footage, I'm gonna show y'all that footage too. They had snacks ready for us. They had everything for us. They had snacks, they had drinks for us. They had Heineken. They had, I don't drink beer. My husband likes Heineken. So he really, really liked that. Um, it was just a really, really nice vibe. It was really, really clean, extra clean. And um, the hosts were very friendly. I actually really liked them. We going back to the same spot. And, um, yeah, so we went to go get something to eat because everybody was hungry at this point, you know what I'm saying? And everything was really right there by us. So we had everything really by us. The mall wasn't too far from us. We had stores right by us, gas stations. Um, we walked right down the street to a Chinese restaurant. The Chinese restaurant was right there on the corner. My battery is dying. But um, the Chinese restaurant was right there on the corner. So we actually walked there. It was like a little daily there too. So we went to go get something to eat. Mind you, we are paying attention to our surroundings because it was this Jamaican guy or whatever. He was sitting on the phone talking and blah, blah, blah. But we, we from the city, so we know how that stuff. So we like, okay, we just gonna pay close attention to him or whatever. And you know, see what he's talking about and blah, 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 because we know how people live in the hood. We waited about 35, what we waited about 35 40 minutes for our food we waited a little minute for our food we left and came right back because it was right down the street so we chilled outside the store we chilled in the store and then we walked right down to the store right beside us to go look in that store to see what they had and then came back our stuff still wasn't done and we were sitting here like damn what's taking that you know what's taking them so long to fix our food you know usually when you at the chinese restaurant or whatever it only takes 10 15 minutes you know how they go <laughs> so <laughs> we were sitting here like what the fuck so we get our food y'all i can't remember what the fuck i had i think i had beef and broccoli or something like that my usual i usually get beef and broccoli or general toast or chicken and y'all i was so high i was so hungry and I haven't eaten since basically we left South Carolina. So I'm sitting here like hungry as fuck. And I go eat. That shit was trash. Trash. I was so upset, y'all. That shit was so garbage, y'all. A lot of you not. I can't even remember what the fuck I had, but that shit was garbage. I had beef fried rice, and the beef didn't even look cooked. The beef was great. Like, that shit wasn't even brown. Like, you know little beef strips that they have in the beef fried rice? That shit was great. It wasn't even brown. I was like, yo, like, 
this shit is horrible. Like, I really wanted to take that shit back. And then we all got drinks with our food and none of us got our drinks. We waited so long, we forgot the fucking drinks. So I was like, damn, I forgot my motherfucking drink. I couldn't even wash the nasty shit down with a drink. So I went on and got me a little Capri Sun and turned out the refrigerator, you know what I'm saying? The ones that they provided us, they provided us with Capri Suns and all the kinds of stuff. Yo, I love them so much, y'all. So, that night we just vibed, you know, we took a little drink here and there. And then, I think after that, I think we got dressed and walked the city. That's why I wish my husband was in here because I can't really remember exactly. This was four, this was three months ago. So I can't really remember exactly everything that, not exactly everything that happened, but I can't remember the little stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that night after we ate or whatever, I think we did go out to go see what was around, um, you know, to go see what was around us. And I think we actually got dressed, came back. I think we actually came back, got dressed, and then I actually think that we did walk the strip. I want to say we walked the strip of Miami. I think we did, y'all. I'm just so horrible with these. That's why I wish I had the footage so I could actually show y'all because if I had the footage, then I would have just made y'all a Miami vlog, a lit Miami vlog, because that shit was so nice. So, I think that night we did go around walking and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, matter of fact, we did. We went out and we felt the neighborhood to go see what kind of neighborhood we was in and this, that, and the third. So, we came back, we drank, we chilled um, outside. Next day, we actually didn't do much either. We went out to the mall. So, we went out to the mall. We ate some breakfast or whatever. Then we went out to the ball to go, um, cause my husband wanted to go get some stuff. I vlogged that, lost the footage, of course, you know. Um, and we went into a few stores, got some things. My husband had got a few things, nice. I think I had got some too, but I can't remember what it was. I think I might not. Now we got something to eat and we went and ate at this. Jamaican spot. So we went and ate at this Jamaican restaurant down the street from us, which was bomb. I love Jamaican food. Shout out to all my Jamaicans. I love you guys so, so much. We even went to Jamaica for our honeymoon two years ago and it was so lit. I love y'all. Y'all show us so much love. And you know, y'all, y'all's land is just so beautiful, y'all. If you guys ever get to go to Jamaica, Oh, you guys will love it. And if you guys get to go anywhere, please go to Jamaica. Please go to Jamaica, you guys. Y'all will love it so much. It's just so beautiful there. Their land is so bright. I don't, I can't explain it, but it's so bright. Their water is just crystal clear. It's just so beautiful. Oh, I'm wrong. Once we, the next day, once we got up, got dressed and stuff like that, we had actually went, I think we had went to the Jamaican spot to go get something to eat. And then after that, we actually went out to the mall and this, that, and the third. Because we ate at the Jamaican spot. So we sat down, ate there, and you guys, I vlogged all this. I vlogged everything. I'm just, just thinking about it, I'm tight. And I'm going to keep saying that because I was tight. Because I had really, really, really good footage for y'all. So, we're going to do it all over again this year. We're going to do it all over again this year and I'll have a vlog for y'all, I promise. Once we leave the mall, blah, 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 we come back. So we come back to the, uh, we come back to the spot, chill for a little while, and then we go back out. Go back out, get cute or whatever, go back out. And <clears throat> we go eat at the Sugar Factory. Now, must I mind you, I don't think none of us have ever been to the sugar, sugar Factory. I know me and my husband haven't been, so this is our first time going to the Sugar Factory, and I really liked it. Um, I will be going back again once we go back to Miami. Um, it's just, it was nothing but good vibes, and when we went, y'all, it was really nobody there because of Corona, you know, so it really wasn't nobody really there, and um, we had drinks, we took pigs, 
it was just a whole vibe, just us, and we was up in the corner, like VIP section or some shit like that, and we was right by the bar, so it was really, really nice, it was really, really nice. We drank this big ass drink, you know how Sugar Factory got these big drinks, so we drank that big drink. I think before we got there, we had drank a little bit, so we was already a little, you know. Then, um, after that, we, no, we were just chilling. We chilled in the Sugar Factory for a little bit, sat there, chilled, talked, took pics, you know how that go, I got a snap for that. Okay guys, here you go. Just go ahead and sip. You can go ahead and sip. I got more here. After we drank that drink and stuff, y'all. It was so good. I drank the whole thing and I didn't even know how lit I was until after I actually got up and I had on these high these high platform crocs. So I had on these high platform crocs, y'all, and I was too gone, y'all. I was too gone. That drink had me gone, gone. And me and my husband shared it, so it was good. It was really, really good. I can't remember the one we had, but I know it when I see it. But we will be back, Sugar Factory. Y'all gave us a whole vibe. Five stars up for y'all. And the food was bomb, too. We had gotten, like, this sampler platter thingy. That shit was so bomb. The macaroni and cheese balls was bomb. The wings was bomb. Um, I think we had fries with it. Everything on that plate that we had was bomb. You feel me? Everything on that plate was bomb. And I think it was because I was just lit as fuck. And you know how you high and then you've been drinking. And then once you finally eat, it tastes so good. Like, that just tastes so good, y'all. <laughs> And I'm hot too, so that's why. <laughs> Y'all. Now, after we leave there, you know, we walked a little, we walked the Miami Strip, looking cute or whatever, you know, because we was looking, we was, we was on our shape. So, we walked the Strip a little while, looking at the stores, um, you know, passing by the restaurant, seeing what, you know, what, what Miami was about. When we came back, we had... Because the first night, I think we had, what we had the first night? The first night we got there, we had Henny, I think. We had Henny, we had 1800, and we had Remy. So we had Remy, 1800, and I think we had Henny, 1800, and Remy. I think that's what we had. Yeah, we did. We had Henny Red Bulls and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, that's what that's that's what was going on. So that night we go and we had two more bottles. We had two whole bottles that we didn't even open yet. So we get back. Must I mind you? I'm sitting here. I done drank. I'm on you. I'm going to sit here and drink this big ass cup of, of liquor. This mixed drink at Sugar Factory. Before that, I think I had a shot or two because it was our birthday situation. So we were all really celebrating together. And my cousin's wife's birthday, I believe, is in September. And she actually wanted to go for her birthday and she didn't go. So it was just the right time for us to book everything at that time. So y'all, we was going in, y'all. We was having the best time of our life with no kids too. And this was really the second or third time me and my husband had went out without our kids, like on a vacation. Oh no, it was over. Oh, we got dressed and got ready to chill by the pool. So I put my bathing suit on and y'all, I took pictures. I had my Fashion Nova bathing suit on, y'all. I had these pictures for y'all. And I wish I would have uploaded it to my snap at that time because they were all on my snap. I wish I would have uploaded it at that time. Um, 
So I had my Fashion Nova bathing suit on. I took selfies before I even went outside by the pool. And then I had my husband take pictures of me by the pool too. So I came back in, got dressed into my comfortable bathing suit and went right back outside with everybody. And then at that time, I don't remember much. I'm gonna just be honest. I don't remember much. All I remember is us being lit as fuck. We was off of being too. Um, so I get back outside and we chillin' by the pool. I get in the pool. Before I get in the pool, I take a shot of some Remy and then I downed it. This is how lit I was, y'all. Y'all ready? I chased my Remy with the 1800. I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> Every time I went to that Remy bottle, I chased my Remy with the 1800. And the 1800, I think, was pineapple. And y'all, y'all know how we love pineapple stuff. So. It was so good. Like, it was just sweet enough. I felt like the 1800 at that point, y'all know when y'all lit, y'all don't really taste what y'all really taste. So, at that point, I felt like my Remy was much stronger than the 1800 because the 1800 tasted like chips at this point. Okay. The 1800 tasted like juice. So, I was like, this shit is so good, y'all. I was so fucked up. That just lets you know how fucked up I was. Okay. This is what happens when we get together. <laughs> Sully, get out the street. Oh. Sully, get out the street. Oh People are trying to come in the parking lot. Get out the street. Oh get out the street. So, yeah. And please don't go drinking and swimming, you guys. That's not cool. Don't go drinking and swimming because I wasn't swimming, okay? Your girl was not swimming. I got in the pool. After I got in the pool, I chilled with my homegirl. After I chilled with my sis. Um, then I went over and chilled with my hubby. I'm just upset because I had some good stuff for y'all. I had some good stuff for the ground. Y'all, <laughs> do y'all see this face? <laughs> y'all, do y'all see this face? This is exactly why you don't get high in front of your subscribers okay this is exactly why <laughs> but it's neither here nor there because it's still gonna happen again so y'all stay tuned for that one um but yeah that night it was just good vibes i'm not gonna say too much i can't say too much but you know how it goes what happens in miami stays in miami we just gonna keep it at that, okay? So next day was the day that it happened. Okay? The next day was the day that I lost my life. Okay? Um, the next day we got up, got ready to go do our jet skis because we were supposed to do our jet skis that day. So we got ready to go do our jet skis. We went back and When we get there, or whatever. So when we get there and whatnot, um, you know, we were either to put, y'all already know how this song goes. We were either to put our belongings in a bin, you know, once we got out to the deck or whatever, or keep them on us. So, you know, I, I initially was just gonna go on and keep one phone on me, you know, to record or whatever of course so i was gonna keep that phone on me and my working phone was going to stay in the bin so why didn't i put it in the bin i asked my husband my husband was like no go on and keep it on you keep all your stuff on you because we are you know some place that we really don't know of which i get that so i was like okay i really didn't think too much of it at the time because i was like no i'm just going to listen to my husband and 
So I put my phone, I kept my phone, I put my personal phone in my pocketbook, put my pocketbook around me because it was a crossbody. So I put my pocketbook around me and it was actually pretty tight to me because you gotta put on a vest. So you gotta put on that um, that safety vest. The uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about, I'm hot. So y'all know what I'm talking about, that, 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 you, you know, you know, that vest, clink, 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 you know. So it was super tight on me and um i didn't think nothing of it you know i was holding on to my husband you know we get all the way down we get in the water you know get all the way down to all these nice ass houses which i didn't get that so i had that for y'all but y'all didn't get that you know we just we just we just vibing out everything you know it was just so lit so pretty we seen big ass iguanas and sh you know so we um go to turn around husband go to turn around I don't know what the f happened after that okay all I remember is me falling in the motherfucking water y'all so when he goes to swing around my ass was holding on with one arm so I really was holding on to him with one arm because mind you I have my phone in the other hand so I have my phone in the other hand and you know I don't I, I don't remember him telling me to hold on while he was turning around. I don't remember none of this shit, okay? So, my silly ass let go of him while we swinging around because in reaction, I still had one hand. So, I didn't know what to do. I never was in that situation. I never knew what, I mean, I didn't know what to do. So, my ass falls in the fucking water with every fucking thing on me, y'all. I already knew my phone was gone. I knew at that time, I wasn't getting my motherfucking phones back, especially the one that dropped out of my hand. I knew I wasn't getting that one back. Now, the one that was in my pocket was in, it might have had a chance, but I was in the water too long. Okay? I sat there for a minute before my before my husband could, like, really finally get to me because he was, he was a little while out, but he really couldn't get to me because, you know, you can't really ride up on somebody like that. So, I was sitting here struggling in the fucking water. Y'all terrified, terrified. <laughs> I was so terrified, y'all. Like, and then on top of that, I was just so frustrated, lost my shit. And then I finally get back over. He comes to get me, and I'm trying to climb up on it. And it's like this little pedal thing. So I'm, I'm trying to climb up on the side. I forgot that I was supposed to climb up on the back because. <laughs> At this point, I was just so, so, you know, I was so shaken up. So, I'm sitting here trying to climb on the back. Finally, try to get on the back. My husband had to really help me up on it because my fucking legs couldn't lift up on that thing like that. How your legs supposed to lift up on that thing like that in the water and you ain't got nothing to grab onto? So, husband puts me back up. Or whatever. Y'all, at that time, I didn't want to say nothing. I was just so tight. I was so, so tight. And my husband knew I was tight too. He knew I was tight. So he didn't say, he didn't say much to me. <laughs> he didn't say nothing either, y'all. And it was just, it was just that, that day was just not the day. Like after that, we didn't really talk to each other too much that day. We didn't interact with each We was just uh, a little frustrated at one another because we really couldn't blame each other for it. But in that moment, we felt like we were, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but we agreed to disagree and we just left it at that, okay? I'm sorry, y'all. I had to stop the video and show you guys my um, digital camera. And I felt like I should have stopped capping with you guys. So I was like, let me stop capping. Let me stop capping and show them my camera that hubby had actually bought me. And that's on period. And if you've been following my channel, then you know that um, hubby had actually surprised me with this um in one of our days of vlogmas so please check that out that is on my channel and it does come with everything in it it comes with every single thing it even comes with the remote control 
I take my selfies and all that good stuff for the gram. And it's 4K, baby. It also comes with a little microphone. It comes with everything in it. I also got some other stuff, too. But, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to go in and throw that in there. That hubby is the best. And he did make up for me losing my phones. Both of my phones, period. When we got back, I did try to put it in the rice. So, I did try to put it in the rice. I blow dried it. And I sat it under the blow dryer for a minute. So, the water could actually... The blow dryer could actually dry out the phone and that didn't work i gave it some time and i put it in the rice and left it there overnight until the next day when we were about to leave that still didn't work i'm just so upset at this point because i lost my footage i lost my videos i lost my um my my, my storage my my things didn't back up so my drive did not back up at that time in order for your storage to back up that night it has to be you know fully charged or it has to be um it has to have enough charge or it um has to have something else it has to have enough it has to have enough charge and it has to be around wi-fi or something like that in order for it to actually do a full backup and it didn't it was not able to do a full backup i don't know why but that's what Apple explained to me. And that's why I couldn't get my stuff back. I tried days and days to try to get my stuff back, y'all. I would do so much shit to try to get my stuff back. And I was actually really, really frustrated because the week before, I think, the, the month before, something like that, the week, I think it was the week before we left to go, I actually got my work phone, the one that I vlogged on, I actually had gotten that phone fixed and I had to pay almost $100 to get the battery replaced. So I actually went through hella high water just to figure out what was actually wrong with my phone just to get the battery replaced just to pay that money just for me to lose it a whole nother week later so I was really shitting you know your girl was really tight I just really didn't know what to say at that point like I lost $600 worth of phones you know and at that point I just really was going through something because that whole week y'all did not hear from me I was actually going through a lot like emotionally you know what I mean so you know it's neither here nor there you know we all go through things in life that was just a life lesson learned to never take your sh on a jet ski so that was how that went and that is how I lost both of my skin phones in Miami while on a jet ski okay I lost them both in the ocean in Miami so that's it y'all I love y'all so 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 much and do not forget to hit that subscribe button ladies to join the dog game period please do not forget to hit that like button please make sure you guys comment I want to hear those comments below this is my very first story time so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love y'all so 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 much i'll catch you guys on the next video bye